This video explains the multi-valued logic design of a ternary NAND gate using carbon nanotransistors in cadence virtuoso. Ternary NAND gate and NOR gate truth table is shown with inputs A and B and outputs of NAND gate is A dot B bar and output of NOR gate is A plus B bar. For 0, 0, the output of a ternary logic is too high and for 0, 1, the output is too and for 0, 2, the output is too and for 1, 0, it is too for 1, 1, 1 and 1, 2, it is 1, 2, 0. So similarly, you have a truth table for NOR gate. Let's start the implementation in cadence. I have already designed the ternary NAND gate implemented with a total of 10 transistors. These are the P MOS in the pull ups and N MOS in the pull down. So these transistors have different chiral vectors to define the diameter of a carbon nanotube. To check the properties of this transistor, select any transistor, press Q, check the Verilog A model. It is having a chiral vector of 19,0 and this is having a chiral vector of 19,0. This transistor with chiral vector of 13,0. And this transistor having a width of or chiral vector of 19,0. The supply voltage is of 900 millivolt. And I have applied the two inputs for a NAND gate with A and B. And the output is T NAND. The inputs I have taken is a PWL source with the cell name as V source in the analog library. You can search it in the analog library. Then you have to select PWL source and define the DC voltage to 900 millivolts. And here you need to provide the path. This is the path where I have kept the file called PWL.txt for one input. And for second input, I have created the another file with the pwl22.txt. I will show them. I have created a pwl file with inputs up to 50 nanoseconds. Similarly, this is the second input which is a B with a total duration of 12 nanoseconds. Once the design is completed, you can go to the launch, click on ADEL or ADE assembler, whichever you want. Right now I am simulating in ADEL. I want to perform a transient analysis up to a period of 15 nanoseconds. Select moderate or conservative based on choice. Then outputs A to be plotted, B and T NAND as the output. Along with that, I want to even plot the current that is drawn by the CN FET and the VDD, which is a again a net. So in total, A B, T NAND and minus voltage along with the VDD. Click on OK. It is loaded in the output tab. Then netlist and run. It is performing the transient analysis with respect to time.
these are the responses of a ternary logic so the value is 0 1 2 as high and again 0 1 2 i have changed the period of the second input the value is 0 1 and high which is a 2 so three logics are used based on this we have the output at t nand which is for 0 0 the value is high which is a 2 again 0 1 it is 2 you can verify this with the truth table as well take this as input for 0 0 combination the output should be 2 so here for 0 0 the value is 2 which indicates it is 900 millivolt again for the next value 0 1 it is 2 so in this manner you can 0 1 the output is 2 for 2 1 the output should be 0 input is 2 1 so you have a value of 1 here so in this manner you can verify the ternary and this is the current which is a instantaneous current up to a duration of 15 nanoseconds and this is the vdc which is a fixed voltage which acts as a vdd of 0 0.9 volt if i want to get the average power what i can do is i can directly go to tools calculator or from here you can directly send this to calculator you have this multiply it by the 0 0.9 which is a vdd then you have the value enclosed within the brackets then use the function called average it gives the average power then click on evaluate the buffer the average power is taken as 165 nanowatts you can send it to the ADL window send buffer expression so that is loaded here on rerunning the simulation you will get the value here similarly i want to evaluate the delay use the delay function we want signal 1 and signal 2 so let me click on this transient voltage with v1 which is a signal 1 copy it paste into the signal 1 again we require signal 2 which is the output this is T NAND since the maximum voltage is of 0 0.9 volt the half the voltage is 0 0.45 and the second threshold voltage is of 0 0.45 maximum minimum is 0 half the value is 0 0.45 maximum is 0 0.9 you can either select the edge type to be rising or falling right now i am keeping it as either click on ok you have a expression in the calculator you can directly evaluate this it is 1.99 nanoseconds the delay between the first input and the output is 1.99 nanoseconds you can directly send it Similarly, I want to have a delay with respect to second signal as well. Let me clear this. I 
I want the signal from B, the second signal. This one, again the same process. Click on OK. Now it evaluates the delay with respect to B and output. You can estimate it around 992.4 picoseconds. Load it into the calculator. Close the window. Now again, rerun the simulation using the ADL window to evaluate all of these values. Observe the outputs. Of the typical ternary NAND gate and you have values for average power and delay between A and output T NAND and this is the delay for B and T NAND. So I have evaluated the delays with the A and T NAND then the delay for B and T NAND. In this way, the ternary logic can be utilized to achieve a low power in VLSA design.